Greetings everyone and welcome back to the bench. It's time to do another project. I have to do another project to finish my other project. So I'm kind of stacked up with projects here. Well, probably a couple years ago, a viewer sent in this dummy load for testing amplifiers. It has two channels, four or eight ohm switchable. Very handy, really appreciate it. But I need something to handle more power. So I'm building the JAT801. So I have my amplifier card here. I put the parallel output stage on it. So I need to test it. This thing will probably, probably do, I don't know, over 200 watts to 4 ohms, 220. I don't know, we'll find out. So yeah, I want to make a larger dummy load for testing. And in John Audio Tech fashion, I want to do it as cheap as possible. Well, probably three or four years ago, I bought these load resistors, 100 watts each. They've been sitting around waiting for me to build something out of them. So yeah, I want to finally do that. And I had this piece of aluminum. So what I do, I marked off where the screws are going to hold these down. And I used this a nail as a nail set to uh, you know mark the position. That way your drill bit doesn't walk all over when you're drilling. I drill the holes, the pilot holes for the tap. And I tap the holes. I use candle wax on it. I'm not going to buy cutting oil or anything. I don't know if it makes a difference, but tap it with my little hand tap here. Then I use a drill bit to deburr the holes so they're nice and smooth. So what I plan to do is put these resistors on like this. I'll set them up here. Get them screwed down. Eh, got tangled up. So those will go on like this. Then I'll have L bracket aluminum in the front where I'll mount these connectors. I'll move the connectors over. These are nice. You got banana jacks and screw down. And I have to get a switch. I don't know if I use this switch or not. So that'll be handy. So I'll have two channels, 100 watts at 8 ohms, 200 watts with you know the two uh, resistors switched in for 4 ohms. And you can overload these temporarily. It doesn't really hurt them. However, if I need more power, I can parallel or series the channels together. So for example, if I need... 4 ohms, I can series the channels together, put the switch for 4 ohms, that'll put all the resistors in. So 4 ohms in series with 4 ohms will give me 8 ohms with 400 watt capability. So yeah, I think this will come in very handy for testing amplifiers. So what I'll do now is uh, work more on the build and come back. I need to size these screws down, so when I screw these things in, they won't poke through the bottom because I might put this heat sink on the bottom of it. Probably not right now. This thing has so much thermal mass. So I use my Radio Shack caliper here that I got when Radio Shack was going out of business, like I got a bunch of things. You know, I'm a vulture got to take advantage of these things but yeah so I measured the thickness of the aluminum the resistor mounting plate and a washer and I come up with seven millimeters so yeah I'm trimming down these screws with this thing so I can get these mounted okay so working on the bracket now I'll have a switch here. These are overboard. 
because you don't want the conductor that goes through the middle to short. See this has a raised edge that will snap in like that. Got it in there. Oh, just like I bought one. Awesome. Okay, let's get everything mounted up now. And the finished product. Look at that. Professional all the way. Couldn't buy one that nice. And put my thinking cap on. And if I wanted, I could mount the heat sink to the top, not the bottom. That makes more sense. And go this way. I might even do that. Look at that. Be awesome. So let me fire up the meter here. I'm going to do this one handed. Let me short the probes and zero out the meter. How to do things with one hand. Okay. So pop this in. Eight ohms up. Four ohms down. On the other side here. Four ohms down. Eight ohms up. Awesome. So like I was saying before, if I need more power, I can set this for four ohms and series the channels together and I get 400 watts worth. So yeah, this come in handy. And I recovered parts from that old dummy load. I recovered these boards. I can use those for the uh, Easy Amp project. Prototype on that. These resistors here, 7 watt resistors, 24 ohm. I can use these for maybe like LED lighting projects. These things are like a buck twenty each. These parts are ridiculously expensive. In quantity, you can get them down to a buck, but they want a buck twenty each for them things. Most rich people would say, "Ah, oh, just throw it away and buy new ones." And not me. I'm gonna recover the parts. Yeah, that's a nice resistor. Save those parts. Well, that'll do it for this one. Hope you like the project. Stay tuned for the next video. Catch you later.